and welcome to another edition of RHS News. I'm Eric Bramer. And I'm Leo Simpson. Eric, I like your tie. Thank you. Yours is okay. Student Council is planning several activities in December. We lead off with the Warm and Fuzzy Drive. Bring in any new or gently used winter wear and donate them to Cross. We're also bringing back Santagrams, where you can send a friend a holiday message before winter break. I've even heard that they're delivered by a certain jolly bearded man. But doesn't Mr. Byrne have to teach? Finally, Rent an Elf is returning. Bid on your favorite senior to be your elf for the day, and the money raised goes towards senior scholarships. He wants me to be your elf. I'm very hardworking. In other news, the first video game club meeting will be held Friday, November 30th from 3 to 9 p.m. See Miss McCready for questions. And the first official knowledge bowl practice is this Monday, November 19th. Please see Mr. Hairpat if you missed the informational meeting. Attention baseball players, there will be a quick meeting tomorrow morning at 7.05 a.m. for all 9th graders, and on Friday morning at 7.05 for all 10th through 12th graders. And both of the meetings are in Mr. Harapat's room, B105. This week we have another edition of You Got Royaled. Let's see who got caught doing good. Grant Austin! Grant Austin! You just got He's also involved with lots of other things. He is also playing on the hockey team this uh, winter for the Olympics also. He also drives a race car and he's number one in his division. And he just got a new race car. So way to go Grant, we're really proud of you and all the awesome things that you are doing. You're awesome Grant, way to go. <laughs> This week's Royal Spotlight is on the Royal Dugout, a new program designed to help students stay caught up with their work. Let's take a look. Dugout is an opportunity for students to get caught up on their missing work. How do they get into the dugout? Referred by a teacher. They have to have at least three missing mates. Yeah, missing major assignments to be referred by the teacher. An analogy for the dugout, um, if, if your parent asks you to mow the yard um, on a Saturday and they see on Sunday that you didn't mow the yard, uh, the parent still wants you to mow the yard. The, mow, the, the lawn needs to get mowed, and so the dugout gives you an opportunity to get the yard mowed. We still need you to learn the material. We want you to learn the material, so this is an opportunity for you to, so to speak, mow the yard, mow the grass. Mow the grass, and it's not a punishment. It isn't some place you go because you're in trouble. It, the dugout is some place that you would go because you obviously need some help um, getting your assignments caught up. And so um, I want you to consider it as an opportunity um, for accountability. Now, what you don't want to see this is as optional. If you are referred to the dugout, it is not an invitation that you can decline. It is an invitation that you do need to RSVP. Yes, I will be there. I'm all in. I'll get my homework done. It's also an opportunity for you, yet again, to receive some help one-on-one -on -one with a student who's maybe had the class before, knows how to do the material, and will help you get it done. So basically, the dugout is a win-win. It's an opportunity for you to get your assignments done in an atmosphere where somebody will be there to help you. And in the end, the one gets more. A physics class blew up a pumpkin on Halloween. All right, so we got our Halloween jack-o'-lantern all ready to go. It's just a normal, everyday jack-o'-lantern that nothing special happens with at all. You got your lights, a great little face. But sometimes in chemistry, we have you know, fun jack-o'-lanterns that will just randomly do things that you never... Oh, my goodness! <laughs> 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 
Do it again! Fire breathing jack o' lantern. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? We leave you with a message from Mr. Naker, the speech coach. Hello, Rogers. Faculty, staff, students. I'm here to tell you about speech today. Uh, we're starting a new speech team here at Rogers, and uh, we're looking for interested students to join. Whatever you want to do, whatever your chosen profession, speech is an activity that has real-world applications and can help you. So whether you want to be a lawyer, a doctor, a business person, a dog trainer, speech will help you. There are many different events. Almost anyone can find an event that is right for him or her. Uh, you can give a humorous speech. You can write your own speech. You can take a great speech from history and compete with that. We meet after school. Um, starting in December. Um, we'll have practices in January and competitions in February and March. Um, speech is a, it's a great activity. I, I encourage anyone who's interested to join um, and, and many uh, great and, and worthwhile individuals have been part of a speech team, including Jim and John Belushi, Adam Sandler, and James Earl Jones. So I, I, I hope to see all of you out. You should talk to me, Mr. Naker. I live in B109. Um, come by and see me if you're interested in joining speech. Thanks. That's all we have for you this week. See you later.